In this tutorial, I'm going to review how to do long division of polynomials. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up, and again, division, and we're doing it the long way, we're going to have this set up. So we're dividing by x minus 1, so that's going to be right here on the outside. And this polynomial here is going to go on the inside. Now what I'm going to do is I want to write... I want to make sure I show every single power of x, meaning i got to go to x to the third, x to the second, x to the first, and then our constant. If there is a one of these missing, so say I didn't have an x squared here, I would put plus 0x squared. That's all going to become important, especially on the second problem I do on these. So I'm going to have x cubed minus x squared minus 2x plus 8. Now, long division of polynomials, it's not difficult. It just will take some time, and there's a lot of ways you can mess up. So what we're going to do is you're going to start off with the first term on the inside and the first term on the outside. So we're going to do x cubed divided by x. So x cubed divided by x. I had three x's available. I took one away. That leaves us with x squared. So you take the first term, divide it. So I'm going to line that up top with the x squared on the inside, so we get an x squared. So I took the first term, divide by the first term, write it up top. After we do the division, what we're going to do is we're going to take that x squared and we're going to multiply it through this piece right here. So x squared times x is x cubed, and I'm going to start filling it in right here. x squared times a negative 1 is a negative x squared. So we did the division, write our term up top, multiply through, write it out. Next step, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract off everything we just wrote. So everything that's a positive is now going to be negative. Negatives are now positive. So we're going to subtract off an x cubed, and that negative there for the x squared becomes positive. So adding vertically down, x cubed minus x cubed, 0. Negative x squared and x squared, that's also 0. And these terms on the end, there's nothing added to subtract to them, so they're just going to come down. So I'm going to have a negative 2x plus 8. I'm going to repeat that process I just did. So I'm going to take the first term and the first term. So I'm going to have negative 2x divided by x. So I had an x available, take an x away, that leaves us with just a negative 2. Very similar process, take that constant. I'm going to line it up with the uh, constant right there. We're going to take that negative 2 and we're going to multiply through. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. So I'm going to write my 2. After you multiply through, we are going to subtract here. So this becomes a positive 2x. This becomes a negative 2. Subtracting off everything there. A negative 2x plus a 2x is 0. 8 minus 2 is 6. Now we would want to keep trying again. So you take the first term here, divided by the first term there. So you would have... 6 divided by x, but looking at that, nothing simplifies there. So whenever you get something complex there, that's when you know you're done. So our answer here is we're going to have x squared minus 2 is our answer. And whatever we have left when we're done doing this entire process, that is our remainder. So I'm going to put r6. So x squared minus 2 with a remainder of 6 is the answer when we do this long division of a polynomial.